Today we are going to start talking about how to create an effective thesis statement. The definition of a thesis is that it is a short statement, usually one sentence, that summarizes the main point or claim of an essay or research paper. In my class, I'd like to break this down a little bit and give you three different definitions. The first one is that I'd like to say that a thesis statement is a statement that explains the purpose of a paper. That's basically what I had just stated in my previous definition. The second definition that we use in my class is that it is an opinion stated as a fact with three supporting details. And the third definition is more algebraic, which we'll talk about later when we format the five paragraph paper. And what it is is X is Y because of A, B, and C. Now, Mrs. Thyron, you're kind of confusing me. Can you please make more sense of this? Yes, let me explain. Let's say that you believe that the ferret is the most amazing animal in the entire world. Now, although you're right, Fred might believe that the poison dart frog is actually the coolest animal. But you really want to, in your paper, argue that the ferret is. Well, in a thesis statement, you want your reader to believe that the claim you're making is correct. So you want to state your opinion as a fact. It's very important that you state your opinion as a fact. How do I do this? Well, the first thing you want to do is make sure that you do not include any personal pronouns in the statement. I, me, my, you, are us, and we are all personal pronouns. So how do you do this? How do you eliminate the personal pronouns? Well, let me show you an example. Let's say you have a, the sentence, I think ferrets are the most amazing animal. Well, by having the word I in this sentence, it is an opinion. Now, I might not want to read your paper if you're not an expert on ferrets and it's your opinion. Maybe I don't care, unfortunately, about what your opinion is. However, if you eliminate the I from your paper and your statement, it takes the form of a fact. For example, Instead of having, I think ferrets are the most important or most amazing animal. Now, let's delete the I think and just say that ferrets are the most amazing animal. Now, it's become almost like a fact, which will cause your reader to want to know why they are the most amazing animal. Okay, so first thing we want to do is we want to have an opinion and we want to state it as a fact. Now in the five paragraph paper that we're going to write, we need three supporting details. Each of these three supporting details will become one of the paragraphs of the five paragraph paper. So what you need to do is now that you have your opinion set as a fact, you need to come up with three reasons why the ferret is the most amazing animal. Well, hmm, let's think about those little creatures. Why do you think they could be amazing? Well, maybe it is because they are cute. They're fast. And let's say they're smart. Now, if you have enough research and you have enough support that shows that they are cute and they are fast and they are smart, these can become your three supporting details. Okay, so now let's combine these. We have our opinion stated as a fact, ferrets are the most amazing animal, and we also have our three reasons, cute, fast, and smart. Let's combine them, and let's use the word because. Ferrets are the most amazing animal because they are cute, fast, and smart. Now I have a thesis statement. 
that's going to explain the purpose of my paper. I need to make a really small clarification here. This is the way that I teach the five paragraph paper. As you continue to improve your education and go up in your schooling, your teachers are going to take a formula and they're going to change it. You need to understand that this is a thyrin thesis. It gives the statement, it tells what the paper is about, but your other teachers might mold it and do it differently. All right. Now, Mrs. Thyron, I understand number two and number one. I understand that a thesis is a statement that explains the purpose of a paper, and I understand that's an opinion stated as a fact with three supporting details, but what in the heck is X is Y because of A, B, and C? Basically, all it is, is your X becomes your subject, the ferret. Your Y is your opinion statement, are the most amazing animal. That is going to become your Y. Your R can change to is Y. Again, above this, you have your because. Excuse me. They are cute, fast, and smart because, oopsie poopsie, of A, your first point, B is your second point, and C. This definition right here of the X is Y because of A, B, and C comes in handy when we start talking about the formation of your paragraphs, which we'll talk about later.